Hi everyone, this is example 8 on orifices, tubes, and wheels under constant head or steady flow. The liquid in the figure shown is oil of specific gravity 0.82 and discharging from a 250 mm pipe through a 100 mm rounded orifice with coefficient of contraction 1.00 and coefficient of velocity 0.96. The the YouTube contains mercury with a difference Z in mercury levels of 162.5 mm, while height Y is 0.67 meter. So compute Q. So this is the given figure. So Q equals ka tog square root of 2GH. Then let's evaluate area 1 over area O if we consider the velocity at that one. So area 1 over area of orifice is pi times pi over 4. So we don't need to consider pi over 4. Anyway, it will be cancelled. So 250 square over 100 square, that's 6.25, which is less than 16. So therefore, area or velocity head at 1 is considerable. So V1 is 4 times discharge over pi diameter at 1 square. So that's this is the head velocity head at 1 plus pressure head at 1 in terms of the flowing liquid, which is oil in this case. So V1 is 4 times Q over pi times 0.25 square, so 20.37 Q. We squared this divided by 2G or 19.62. Then the velocity head at 1 is 21.15 Q square. While pressure head at 1, we sum up pressure from 1 down to up in the manometer, then up to this, which is exposed to the atmosphere, and the pressure there is 0. So beginning with 1, the pressure is P1 plus gamma of oil times Y, because this is filled with oil. Then we jump across to this point. They are at the same level. So this is mercury. So the equation is not uh, changed. Then minus specific weight of mercury times G equals pressure here, which is zero. So P1 is gamma of mercury times Z minus gamma of oil times Y. Dividing everything by specific weight of oil. So P1 over Gamma of oil or pressure head at 1 is gamma of mercury over gamma of oil times Z minus Y. So specific weight of mercury is specific gravity 13.6 times gamma of water, while gamma of oil is specific gravity of oil times gamma of water. So pressure head at 1 in terms of oil is 13.6 gamma of water over 0.82 gamma of water times Z, which is 0.1625 minus y, which is 0.67. Cancel out gamma water. Then the pressure head at 1 is equal to 2.025 meters of oil. Then we substitute into this formula with h equal to this. So q equals 1.00.96. Coefficient of discharge is c sub c times c sub v. Then pi radius of orifice 0.05 meter square. Then square root of 19.62 or 2G times velocity head at 1 plus pressure head at 1. So Q divided by 0 0.96, quantity 0 0.96 times 5.05 square, then times square root of 19.62 will give us 29.94 Q. Then we square so that the right side will be 21.15 Q square plus 2.025. So only Q is now the unknown, solve, solving for Q. Q is square root of 2.025 divided by quantity 29.94 square minus 21.15. So Q is 0 0.0481 cubic meter per second or in liters per second times 1000, 48.10 liters per second. So that's the answer to this problem.